What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and it is time to head back to the inn for the for a meeting, I'd assume. Hey Yuma, can we talk for a quick minute? What's up, uh, Sir Agnum? Just Agnum, please. And I've got a question for you, that's all. Listen, man, it feels like every time I see you, you're trudging around with the weight of the world on your shoulders. You okay? Huh? I, I appreciate that you're worried, but... Look, if you don't want to open up to some guy you just met, I get it, but the offer's on the table, okay? Bottling that stuff up ain't healthy. Not healthy, huh? I... I guess I can try. And you'll listen? Of course. Lay it on my ears, man. I've just been... thinking. About what happened with Genus, I mean. Everyone scrambled to protect me, right? Rina, Sonia, they tried to keep me safe so I could call on the dragon and bail them out. And I just... couldn't. It was all I could do to stay on my feet. I squandered the chance they bit and clawed to give me. Uh-huh. Look, that guy's kind of a monster, and you're not exactly a soldier. It happens. He seemed like he meant it when he said he didn't want to hurt them, but... If he had, I don't think I could have saved them. And knowing that, I... You're torn up about missing your shot. Yeah, I get how that feels. But think about it. You've got the real live shining dragon inside you, right? The divine lord of all drake kind or whatever. Isn't that a good thing? No, you don't understand. That's exactly why I'm afraid of him. When I hold even just a bit of his power, it feels like I'm damning up the rest. Like it- Hmm. Guess it's true what they say about power and responsibility. <sighs> no wonder you're so anxious about calling out to him, though. Like, if losing control of his power is that big a danger. Well, only one thing for it. We can figure this out together, you and me. Really? What is it? Practice, man. You gotta stay in the game if you want to get good. Practice? That's right. I bet it's like any skill, you know? Find some place quiet and just jam it out until it's all second nature. It seems logical that the more time you spend practicing with Big Shiny, the less you'll risk losing the reins when you need him in a crisis. Is that how it works? Ah, shut it. You're not gonna know until you try, right? No, it's just... I've never even thought about how I'd go about, uh... training with him. Well, now seems like a pretty good time to start, I'd say. Come on, at least give it a shot. Uh, uh, Come hit me up during my patrol tomorrow. We can get started then, probably. And seriously, don't worry about it, okay? If you really do go berserk, I'll be there to knock some sense back into you. Uh, all right. An Agnum? Thanks. Eh, thank me when I've done something worth thanking. Maybe once we see some results, yeah? Okay, Agnum's trait, big brother. So that's, so that's Agnum, Agnum, huh? I hadn't, I hadn't figured, figured him for that type at all. A little overbearing, maybe, but... He seems like a good guy. Maybe practice won't be so bad. Huh? What's that sound? Sounds, Sounds like, like Kirika's, Kirika's singing. singing. Listening, Listening to her is so soothing. Yuma, let us speak, you and I. For I have questions. You were faced with strength, yet you cling to fear. You mean, when I faced Genus? Yes. That a mortal man could amass such power and go unnoticed is... rare. Yeah. It felt like he was on a higher plane, you know? Like I never stood a chance. Correct. As you are now. 
To cross blades with him again would be your undoing. Exactly. It's like, what can I do? A weakling like me just can't keep up with skills like that. So why try? Self-pity, boy. From where I'm roosting, you may just exceed him, given time. What? Me? Right. Agnum said something like that, too. That if I practice with you and him, then maybe... This thing will take time, but it is a necessary step. This is my counsel, should you desire it, Yuma. The world will try to make you compromise, to make you change who you are. I urge you... Never change who you are, huh? That... Uh, are you sure about that? Because I thought getting stronger meant... changing. Some souls find strength in weakness. Others, shown strength, become blind to their weaknesses instead. That... Uh, I hear you, but I... I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hmm. And so I am left to wonder. Just what does he seek that he pursues the last song of all things? Alright, so Etude of Dragon Ears completed Opus 2. Uh, let's see here. Create a save. Or, hold on. Create a save here. There we go. Save complete. Recordanza of Souls. We're back to heavy dialogue. Hmm. So our task now is to obtain the souls of these world dragons? Precisely, precisely. All told, there are four world dragon souls scattered throughout Alfheim. The shining dragon aside, we require the souls of the earth dragon, the sea dragon, the sky dragon, and the dark dragon. Once those four souls are within our grasp, and the Shining Dragon is ours, then surely His Excellency's wish... ...will be realized. Yes, I see. But how do we find them? My troops are gathering information on their whereabouts as we speak. If I could ask your assistance in this, Princess Excella. Hmm. I suppose that would be efficient. Running off on a scavenger hunt, huh? Is that gonna be any fun? Zest? No, let him speak. Zest, perhaps you would be more interested in pursuing the Shining Dragon than searching for the souls? I don't know, really. Yorg didn't make him sound like much. This Shining Dragon is just some kid. No, I'm not after the Shining Dragon. I want the man who crushed Gay Bolg. Uh-huh. The so-called Dragon Slayer. That's the one. He might actually give me a real fight. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, the man is entirely irrelevant to our campaign. You will have nothing to do with him. You stick to your campaign, military man. If I get a shot at him, it's on. Still, I've got no idea where he is. Man, it could be ages before I get to fight him. As long as I'm stuck like this, I guess I could lend you a hand. Might be a fun way to kill some time. I see. Well then, Zest, you may search for the Dragon Souls at your leisure. But when we have obtained all of them, 
We will speak further regarding your role. As for the rest of you, your top priority will be to find and acquire the souls of the world dragons. We cannot tiptoe around my father's age. His time in this world grows short, and we must grant his wish before it is too late. If we were to lose father now, the Empire would be thrown into chaos, just like the bloodbath ten years ago. We cannot let history repeat itself. It has taken ten years of my father's rule to bring peace back to our Empire. If I may, Princess Axella, does the threat of civil war truly demand such concern? After all, the power of the Draco Machina ended that infighting a decade ago. Power still at your command, Your Highness. Georg, I hope you do not mean to insinuate that I alone quelled the rebellions. There are consequences for insulting my father and his achievements. You are not exempt from them. I suggest you speak with more caution, assuming you prefer your head remain on your shoulders. I meant no offense. Forgive me, Your Highness. I'll be sure to keep your contrition in mind. More importantly, put all available resources toward uncovering the souls of the world dragon. If we fulfill my father's wish, we guarantee the prosperity of the Empire. Understood. Rest assured, the dragon souls will be ours. Indeed. I'm counting on your success. Now, you're dismissed. Hmm. Hmm. You were right after all, Beatrice. The normal approach isn't going to cut it this time. Told you. Well, she's certainly eager to grant the Emperor's wish. <laughs> that obsession should help her sniff out the Dragon Souls for us. Continue your efforts, Beatrice. Tend to Her Highness's every whim, and never leave her side, even for a moment. Oh, I know. I'll handle it. Good. I leave her to you. Not a moment to herself, huh? I guess that means I might run into them again. Never thought I'd see a familiar face here. I wonder who she's talking about, who she's gonna run into. I'm sorry. I have to go now. But here, you can have this. Listen. It's a pretty song, right? If you're ever sad or hurt, maybe you can listen to this and feel a little better. I hope I see you again. Bye-bye. And with that, she left me a music box. After she left, it didn't take long before the music stopped. I remember feeling so lonely after that. I tried to make it play again, but I couldn't. I didn't have the key. She must have forgotten to give it to me. Now that I think about it, she was kind of scatterbrained. When I noticed I didn't have the key, I remember I felt so sad. But then it occurred to me, I'm sure I'll see her again someday. I can just borrow it from her then. For now, I can still remember the melody. Yuma, what's wrong? You look spaced out. Huh? Oh, it's, uh, nothing. Well, whatever you're thinking about, don't let it get to you too much. Maybe a walk in the city would clear your head. Okay. Okay. Be careful. Uh, let's see. So, main objective... She's oh, the... Okay. Hi. The store is the main objective. 
Yuma, good timing. Hold this and sit there. Huh? What is it? This is a donut-shaped shield that can block any attack. I'm going to strike at it with the spear. Huh? You can wield a spear? Wait, this shield is paper thin. And isn't it useless if it has a hole in the middle? That's what I thought. I bought it on a whim, but I'm not sure it'll be useful. Help me test it. By getting stabbed? Oh, Lysolette, you are being far too reckless. Hmm? Oh, Alfred, fine. I guess I'll put the experiment on hold. Phew. I'm sorry if Lysolette bothered you. You're Yuma, yes? Yeah, who are you? I am Alfred. I have a request for you regarding the distortions of the world. So what are these distortions? I oversee distortions in the world and it is my duty to ensure they do not spread. When a noticeable distortion appears, you must use the Grimroar, Grimoire to correct it and... Huh? Well, you see, I mishandled the Grimoire and it caused these distortions to, em to emerge. I know that it should be my responsibility, but I fear there is little I can do on my own. Er, um, so if you and your friends could help me, I would be forever grateful. What do you say? Or, hold on a second, I still don't really understand what you're talking about. Alright, so simply put, this is how it is. Alfred's Grimoire. Alfred is a wizard who keeps watch on the distortions in the world. Distortions can bring about many unusual things. The Grimoire can perceive these distortions as dungeons. Conquering a dungeon will correct the distortion. Dis will correct... Wait. Dis Dissonance will wait in the desert, d deepest parts of these dungeons. Defeat these enemies to undo these distortions. I see, so you want us to help you correct these distortions. Exactly, please, I need your help. Okay, I'll try. Really, thank you so much, truly, thank you. When you can help, please come to me, I shall be waiting here. How's it going? Okay. So, now, I gotta go this way for the main quest. Did you need something? Looks like it's up at this little house. Oh, no, wait. It's Rinna. Yuma. Yuma, hey there. Hello, so what are you doing here, Rinna? What does it look like? I'm selling flowers. It's one of my hobbies. Oh, they're really pretty. You want some? Oh, but they're not free. Oh, you need money? Yeah, it takes a lot of work maintaining the flowers and maintaining my wardrobe. You have like one dress. You have a really short dress. Uh, and a hat. Yeah, it takes a lot of <laughs> But the point is I'm selling them. Rena's flowers. Rena will sell you one flower a day. Try talking to her from time to time. I see, maybe I'll buy some next time then. Sure, my selection changes from time to time, so keep an eye out. Obtain Rinna's trait, flower shop. Hey, Yuma, there you are. You remember what I said about practice? I found a good mission for us to take on. A mission? Okay, I'm listening. Sounds like they've been there have been sightings of some dangerous monsters in that Ulmore Greatwood. The knights were going to handle it, but I asked old man Burroughs to let us take a crack at it. Oh, I see. Thanks, Agnum. I already told everyone else, so let so just let me know when you're ready. We got to get to the Elmore Greatwood. Lady Kirka is so into you. Well, I guess she's more into his radiance. How do you feel about that? Aren't you happy that Lady Kirka likes you? I want you to like me. Oh, what are you saying? You surprised me. Don't be so bold all of a sudden. You had me flustered. Here's a present for my good little boy. Mana mist. Positive vibes, Yuma. It's all right. I'm with you. Can I buy some flowers? I have a pretty flower for sale today. Would you like one? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Take good care of it. Okay. Let's go... I want to try something, so I'm gonna go back. Did you need something? I think I'll take on the main mission in the next episode, so I'm gonna mess around with a couple of things here real oh quick. Lord. How's 
it going? Oh, Yuma, did you see Captain Burroughs anywhere? I was told to wait here for him, but he hasn't returned yet. I wonder if something happened. Let's do this. Let's go look. You don't have to do that. He's somewhere in the city. Something must have come up. I'll wait a little longer while I rest. Thank you, Yuma. Here, take this. Okay, so hold on. I gotta go do the nighttime part of my quest with her. Um, oh, I gotta talk to her. My mom. Welcome back. Alright, rest it's at the Seagull rest. Inn. Good evening. Really? She didn't finish her sentence? <laughs> she said evening, still up. Yeah, I'm not that tired. You have a room at the castle, right? What's it like? What, my room? Why do you ask? Well, it's the room of a princess. I've got to wonder. I bet it's all fancy with a four-poster bed. Why is it? With a four-post bed. Why would it be? No. Oh, no. It's pretty normal. I've got a little fountain next to my bed, but that's about it. Yeah. A fountain? Listening to the... Why does it say, like, one word? Yeah, listening to the water helps me sleep. It's pretty relaxing. That sounds like a pretty big difference from a normal room. Really? Well, I could show you some time if you want to drop by. I appreciate the invitation, but I feel a little awkward going in a girl's bedroom. Oh, that's fine. There's always a guard posted, so it's not like we'd be alone. Oh, uh, okay. And on that note, I'm going to bed. Okay, I'm night. Going to bed. Just had to make it awkward, Yuma. He just had to make it awkward. You had to make it weird, and you had to make it awkward. <laughs> All right, now let me go talk to her again. Oh Yuma. oh, Yuma, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something. That's pretty rare for you to be so lost in thought. Did something happen? Actually, I have a favor to ask you. I want everyone in Marga to be safe and happy. Can you help me resolve this problem? I don't know what the quest is. You see, I want everyone... Okay. Yeah, so do I... So you want to solve everyone's problems, right? That's right. It might take a, a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. Let's both do our best. Okay. Quest accepted. What? If you have something to say... Okay. 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 So, I don't know what this is. Can you help me? So just complete quests, that's her... That's what she wants, she just wants me to complete quests. I'm bored. Won't we just passively get that over time? Did you need something? Whew, that's... that is enough for today. Hey, Kiriko, were you training your harmonic? You're tuning your harmonic. Yes, every now and then I like to do it myself rather than bring it to Lyle. At the very least, I feel I should be able to clean it myself. Wow, but isn't it a lot of work to tune with all those strings? That is simply how it is. We could hardly produce songs of the same quality with fewer. Ah, right. I keep forgetting harmonics are also instruments, not just weapons. But how can instruments work as weapons? That's been bothering me for a while. I see. In that case, perhaps I could explain a little bit about the harmonics. Really? Thanks. I'd love to know. Of course, let me begin with the origin, how harmonics themselves came to be. Firstly, the harmonics were not created by man. His radiance, the shining dragon, crafted them from his own body. So in other words, it's just like Vandal Horn. They are the same in the sense that they both borrow power, bar, borrow the power of his radiance. However, there is one crucial difference. The difference is that the harmonics were not intended as weapons. Huh? What do you mean? His radiance graced us with the harmonics so that we might create beautiful music and live in deeper harmony with man dragon kind. I almost said mankind. In other words, harmonics were never intended as instruments of war, only of song. But everyone uses them as weapons now, right? That is simply how things happen. The harmonics are filled with this radiance's power. Thus, they contain more power than any weapon of mortal make. But that... I hit A on accident. I see, but how did they start getting used as weapons now? I have heard it was because we discovered that resonance, the power behind rune songs, can also be used to increase one's fighting power. 
Resonance, huh? Yes, the harmonics display their true power when they resonate with each other. When the harmonics play in harmony, their power increases tenfold, allowing them to play even more beautiful sounds. Wow, so if we bring as many harmonics together as we can, they'd be able to play some really amazing music. Yes, precisely. A long time ago, even before Ragnarok, there was a magnificent song that was played using all seven harmonics. Wow, what kind of song was that? Well, it is merely a legend, so I'm not sure. All I know is that the song was lost sometime over the course of Ragnarok. Lost? How? Doubtless because of one of the harmonics was lost to an enemy. It has been said that his radiance lamented the loss of that song more than the loss of the harmonic itself. Wow, I wish I could hear that song just once. I as well. It is, it is a truly unfortunate loss. Okay. Hello. Okay. That's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.